He gathereth the waters of the sea together as an heap, and he laid up the depth in storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord, let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spake, and it was done, he commanded, and it stood fast. Yes. And you know something, I think I read somewhere in my Bible that he never changes. Right. He's the Lord, he never changes. He spake, and it was done. He commanded, and it stood fast. The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. He maketh the devices of the people of none effect. The counsel of the Lord standeth forever, the thoughts of his heart to all generations. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Yes, amen. So read it with me, folks. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord and the people whom he had chosen for his own inheritance. Amen. The Lord looketh from heaven. He beholdeth all the sons of men from the place of his habitation. He looketh upon all the inhabitants of the earth. He fashioned their hearts alike. He considereth all their works. There is no king saved by the multitude of a host. A mighty man is not delivered by much strength. A horse is a vain thing for safety, neither shall he deliver any by his great strength. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Our soul waiteth for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. 
for our hearts shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. Because we have trusted in his holy name. Can you all see that? Yes, amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we have hope in him. We have, we have trusted in his holy name. Most people don't even understand about the name of God. One of these days we'll get into that, but not tonight. Pericles, the, the Greek statesman, built a civilization upon culture, and it failed. Listen to what I'm saying tonight, and think about the United States of America. Caesar built a civilization upon power, and it failed. Our forefathers, now I don't know whether the kids in school are being taught this today or not, but our forefathers founded our nation upon the Christian faith. And America will live, I really believe, will live so long as the Lord is our God. How many of you believe that? As long as the Lord is our God. Our forefathers left a land where they were persecuted to find a land where they were free to worship, to, free, to worship the only true and living God. Is that right or not? Amen. When the pilgrims landed at Plymouth Rock, they knelt down upon the shore and they thanked God for giving them this new country. These are some of the things that we should be remembering on the 4th of July. And I'm afraid that our country is just getting so far away from God in his word and we're getting so far away from the history of our country that these things don't mean anything to the new generation that's coming up isn't that a shame that's right. the church of jesus christ which we are part of was at the center of every settlement listen to me folks the early early settlers to our country god was the center jesus christ was the center of everything that they did. When the Continental Congress was faced with great problems and great difficulties, it said, at least I read, that they fell on their knees and prayed. How many of you ever remember reading anything like that? Our forefathers had their mind on God. Yes. Oh, listen, some of them I know that it, they were atheists, but the, the majority had their mind on God. Can you imagine what would happen today if our legislative bodies prayed more and talked less? <laughs> wow, what, what would happen? Or better yet, better yet, if our churches talked less and prayed more. Amen? Amen. If our churches prayed as much as they complain and moan and groan and and talk and jabber and a bunch of idle stuff if they prayed more we'd see things happening even in this little church amen amen that possibly we've read about in the early history of the church but people don't pray anymore oh i pray pastor yeah whenever there's a commercial on television i say thank you lord as i head to the refrigerator to get a piece of apple pie <laughs> that's Sounds facetious, but I believe it's the truth in many cases. All night prayer meetings are a thing of the past. Can't even get them out here for an hour on Tuesdays. Amen. The picture of Moses was upon the first coin that was made in America. How many of you knew that? And today, and I'm so thankful today, at this moment anyway, we still have the grand old words. In God we trust. Amen? Amen. For how long, I don't know, friends, because they're trying to remove in God we trust off of our money. Did you know that? That's right. Amen. Oh, listen to me. Our forefathers were building upon a faith foundation. Our forefathers were building upon a faith foundation. I'm afraid even our churches aren't built on a faith foundation anymore. Amen? Think about it. I'm not talking about ours in particular. I'm talking about the church body of Christ. It's more wrapped up in big tabernacles. Yes. 
fancy, fancy pews, all these things of the world. Isn't that a shame? Isn't that a shame, friends? There was a South American president, and he was right when he said, South America was settled by men who were seeking God, or were seeking gold, excuse me. But North America was settled by men who were seeking God. Did you ever stop to think if all the Irishmen went back to Ireland, if all the Jews went back to Jerusalem, if all the Mexicans went back to Mexico, if all the blacks went back to Africa, if all the Italians went back to Italy, if all the Greeks went back to Greece, if all the Chinamen went back to China, if all the Filipinos went back to the Philippines, if all the Vietnamese went back to Vietnam, if all these left our country, who would be left? The American Indians. Yeah, that's right. The American Indians, friend. So don't get yourself so proudful thinking that you are an American. You're only an American because our forefathers destroyed the poor American Indians. Isn't that a shame? Isn't that a shame? So we should be thankful for what God has allowed us to have. And we should protect it. And we should love it. Amen. And we should pray for it continually. Not these lay me down type prayers. I'm talking about really getting on our knees and travailing in prayer for Amen. our country. Because friends, there are forces out there right now that are trying to destroy our country. Amen. Normally the forces were from the outside wanting to destroy us, but now they're from the inside wanting to destroy. And that's satanic led, my friends. Oh boy, we got, I'm telling you friends, we should be spending more and more time in prayer. Amen. Listen, listen with me for a moment tonight. I know this is not the normal type of a message, but I want you to, to hear just a little bit more words of history. The Medo-Persians had a great nation, but they drank themselves to destruction in one drunken orgy after another. Sound familiar? Egypt flourished under Joseph for 400 years, and the people had forgotten Joseph and his God, and Egypt went down. Greece under Alexander conquered the world, but he could not conquer himself. He died in a drunken orgy and the civilization of Greece became, came tumbling down. Rome, Rome was the proud ruler of the world. Think of that, folks. But luxury and lust ate at the center of Rome's life and it also perished. Where are these great nations now? They are no more, are they? No. They are all, they're, they're little, little bits of what they were at one time. Nothing like they were. Isn't that a shame? Isn't that a shame? Folks, listen to me. Your country, your city, your home cannot turn its back on God and expect to survive. It just won't, it just won't work. It just won't work. That's right. And God is allowing us to see through history what happened to those that turned their back on God. Oh, 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 America. America, the land we love. We must not be built on pagan, pagan ways, folks. If America is built on pagan ways, it will fall in ruin just like the pagan countries did that we just mentioned. We have to put our, listen to me, listen to me, as Americans, and you're just as much an American as as uh, anybody in the Congress, the Senate, the President, the, the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Marines, listen to me. You sitting in this room are just as much as these people are, amen. Just as much an American. And we need to put our, our roots down deep in God and we need to live for Him. I've got, I've got some things inside me that I really have to pray about continually. I believe very strong 
If you accept something, a responsibility, you need to take that responsibility. Amen? Amen. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. I have a responsibility to God and to you to be here. Very, very few times am I not here. Is that right? I have a responsibility to sit back there and keep my mouth shut while somebody's praying or somebody's singing. I accept that responsibility. And you ask me, why do you have your head down all the time? Because Mary's continually bobbing back and forth there and I get seasick <laughs> sitting behind her. <laughs> Folks, listen, we are in one hellacious time and the devil, whether you know this or not, there are spiritual beings out there. Right. All of the yeah. problems that we have are due to the spiritual beings. Amen? Amen. Because we don't accept the responsibilities that we have, that's because we yield to that spirit of laziness that attacks us. Is that right, Pam? Yeah. We, we yield to that, that spirit that we would rather do this than do that. We want to be out watching the fireworks. I'm going to get you out. I think they start at 9 o'clock. So you can all go out and act like the town idiot and scream and yell when they shoot off the fireworks. I'm going to. I know I don't have to act like the town idiot. I know, Marie. I already am. I can read your mind. You see, that's, a, that's one of the gifts that God has given me. I can read your minds. Do you remember, I'm sure you've all seen it sometime, but do you remember the picture of George Washington at Valley Forge and his little army was almost starving and freezing to death and they were fighting against a seemingly, what well, was it, an overwhelming uh, army, an overwhelming odds. But in the snow, George Washington was down on his knees praying. Mm. Isn't that powerful? Yes, amen. And look what has happened to our country because George Washington prayed. It's beginning to dwindle, but it, it just grew and grew and grew and became the most powerful nation in the world. And I believe it was because one little American general became humble enough to get on his knees and pray. Amen. 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 That's the spirit, friends, that built the United States of America. And I am afraid that that spirit is slowly but surely dying in our country. When it gets to where the churches can't even get on their knees and pray anymore, That's right. Amen. How, can we expect, how can we expect our country to survive? Amen. <laughs> America, was, America was formed on God. And I believe now, folks, I keep saying I believe, but I believe from what history tells us and what the Word tells us. I believe if she is to live, she must keep building on that firm foundation. She must keep building on the power and the authority in the Lord God Almighty. That's right. Amen. She has to keep building on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, we don't want to offend the Muslims. We don't want to offend the Buddhists. <laughs> Jesus did. Amen. He said, I'm the way, I'm the truth, and I'm the life, and no man right. cometh unto the Father except by me. A Muslim, a Buddhist, a Hare Krishna, or whatever you are, you're not going to get to heaven without Jesus Christ. I'm going to tell you that. Amen. 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 Brother Al told somebody the other day, they come to him looking for sympathy and complaining. And he's, they're living together, <coughs> sleeping together, fornicating together. <laughs> he said, if you don't change your ways, you're going to hell. Yeah. That's the word of God. Amen. That's rough, isn't it, Frank? No, that's the word of God. True. That's it's what Jesus Christ said. It's the truth. God appeared to Solomon. And he said, if my people, you all remember this, if my people, if, if, if my people, if they'll do what I'm about to say, he says, if my people which are called by my name, yeah. everyone in this room that knows Jesus Christ as their personal Savior is called by his name. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves, okay. humble themselves, 
That means to yield yourself to the Holy Spirit. That means to be respectful of God in His house. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, and pray, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, we got time for everything else, don't we? We got time for potlucks. We got time for singspirations. We got time for we got time for the food ministry. We got time for birthday parties. But he doesn't mention those things, does he? He says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and seek my face and, and, and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, turn from their wicked ways. What are wicked ways, folks? Anything that's contrary to the Word of God is a wicked way. Did you know that? Anything that comes before God is a wicked way. Anything that keeps you from humbling yourself and praying and seeking His face is a wicked way. He says, if you'll, he says, if you'll turn from these wicked ways, He says, then, now, now remember, remember, if my people it starts out if then will I hear from heaven if they do these things then I'll hear from heaven evidently he doesn't hear if we're living in a wicked way amen amen, amen. if you're arrogant if you don't humble yourself if you don't pray if you don't seek his face evidently then he doesn't hear from heaven if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. If you'll do those things, I guarantee you I will hear from heaven. And I'll forgive their sin. I'll forgive America's sin if they would humble themselves and pray and seek God's face and turn from their wicked ways. God says he'll hear from heaven. He'll forgive, he'll forgive the sins of this great United States of America. He'll forgive the sins of the Christian population, those that are professing Christ. And oh my, after he forgives our sins, then the Bible says he'll heal our land. That's right. Our land can be healed, folks. With God, all things are possible. But it's going to take some true born-again believers. True born-again believers. No, no, I'm not talking about Sunday morning Christians. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about people that are sincerely, sincerely in love with their Savior. Amen. Sincerely in love with God. In love with Him enough to turn from their wicked ways and humble themselves and pray and seek His face. And we'll begin to see things change, friends. Amen. We'll see things change. One day there was a man that used to be real honoring, and his family were praying for him. And one day he made a decision to live for Christ. I know this man, and I know what a powerful weapon he is in the hands of the Holy Spirit. He's a member of your congregation. I'm not going to name him, but it's because he, he humbled himself. He prayed. He sought God's face. And he turned from his, his wicked ways. And God heard his cry. And God touched his heart and forgave his sin and healed his He's still in the process of healing his household, healing his land. It can happen to any one of us if we'll just yield to what the Word of God says. Amen. 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 Let's pray. Come on, let's all just yeah. bow our heads and speak out to God what's on your heart, your heart of praise and worship tonight. Tell Him how much you love Him. 
Tell him you're so thankful that you're part of his family. Thank him, Lord, tonight. Thank him tonight that you're, you're living in this great United States of America. Thank him that we have a place to come and to worship. Thank him that his word is revealed to us and we can, we can grow and be powerful and healed and delivered because his word is true. Father, we love you so much tonight. We thank you, Father, for saving us from our sin. We thank you, Lord, for cleansing us. We thank you, Lord, for making us whole. We thank you, Lord, that you've prepared a place for us. We thank you, Lord, that soon that Jesus Christ is coming back to take us home to that place that's prepared. We're so thankful tonight, Father, for the very breath that we have to breathe. We're thankful, Father, as Americans, for the clean water that we have to drink. We're thankful for the abundance of food that we have. Thank you, Lord, for our cars and for our homes and for, for our beds. And, Lord, for the stoves and refrigerators and the fresh food that we have. We are so blessed, Father, so blessed. Forgive us for unthankfulness, Lord. Thank you, forgive us Thank for you, Thank you. forgive us Lord for neglecting oh, our praise and worship oh, to you help Thank us to remember the angels of yes. heaven are shouting holy holy holy, holy, holy Lord God Lord. Almighty we say to Thank you holy 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 are you Hallelujah. our Lord God Almighty oh, Thank, Almighty. You, yes, Thank you Father Thank you Father Hallelujah Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Come on, everybody, sing with me. Hallelujah. Praise him in song. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we thank you, Lord, for this Independence Day. We thank you, Lord, that you that you have laid it on the hearts of a president to set aside this day that we could remember that we are independent of the terror and the, of the attacks that come against us from other countries. We're so thankful we have the independence to worship and to praise you as your word reveals to us. We give you praise, we give you glory for all things in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our precious Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 Shake hands, be friends. No, no you not, no you not, you are the temple. No, no you not, no you not, you are the temple. No, you not, no you not, you are the temple. You are the temple of the Holy.